Hi everyone, I am Sudhir Gupta, teacher in study hall, Lucknow. Welcome to my channel, School Jaisa. Support me with your like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Continue with the same chapter, Crop Production. Now we are going to study the nitrogen cycle. This is the fifth part of the chapter. Now, before understanding what the nitrogen cycle is, we should know that nitrogen is used by the life form to carry many of the functions of the life. And how is it used? It is used for the formation of protein, amino acid and nucleic acid. Air contains 78% of the nitrogen. That's a very huge amount. But the problem is that air in air, the nitrogen is present in the gaseous form. Whereas plant can take the nitrogen for their purpose in the soluble nitrate form or in the soluble nitrate form or in the form of nitrate. So the process which is done in order to convert the nitrogen from gaseous state to the nitrate form is called the fixation and it is necessary for the plant to make the protein and when the nitrogen is going to be get converted into the useful form then it will also be coming back to the atmosphere in the form of gas by the different bacteria. So in all what exactly the nitrogen cycle is? Nitrogen cycle is the process of nitrogen being fixed used by plants and animals and later on returned to the atmosphere is referred to as the nitrogen cycle. That means the nitrogen is firstly fixed that is the conversion of the nitrogen from gaseous to nitrate form by the plants and animals and then later on when it returns back into the atmosphere then we say the whole cycle has been completed which is called the nitrogen cycle. Now when we talk about nitrogen cycle then how the nitrogen cycle takes place, how the nitrogen cycle is there, it's in the five steps. What are those five steps? They are nitrogen fixation, nitrogen assimilation, ammonification, nitrification and denitrification. Now we are starting with the first part step that is nitrogen fixation. Now when we talk about the nitrogen fixation, what it means? It means the process of converting the free nitrogen gas of the atmosphere into nitrogen compound is called nitrogen fixation. Means nitrogen gas converted into nitrogenous compound. Now there are the two ways through which naturally the nitrogen fixation can take place one atmospheric nitrogen fixation another is biological nitrogen fixation so now when we talk about the atmospheric nitrogen fixation you would have seen whenever the day is cloudy whenever the thundering and the lightning is taking place then at that time what happens the nitrogen and oxygen which is present high up in the atmosphere they get reacted why do they get reacted because at the time when the lightning takes place the temperature is very high and due to that the nitrogen and oxygen combines or reacts and forms the compound that is nitric oxide now nitric oxide that is NO which is present high up in the air that combines again with that of the oxygen present in the atmosphere and form the nitrogen dioxide now when the nitrogen dioxide is there in the atmosphere oxygen is there in the atmosphere and at the same time if suddenly it starts raining so when it will start raining the nitrogen dioxide oxygen and the water they all together react and they start forming the acid that is nitric acid and this nitric acid when falls from on the earth surface it falls in the form of acid rain and then when this acid rain or when this nitric acid which is falling on the earth surface reacts with the alkali of the soil that is the limestone they turn it into the form of the 
nitrate so here we see that in the first reaction nitrogen oxygen combining forming nitric oxide the nitric oxide is further oxidized or reacting with oxygen forming nitrogen dioxide and then the nitrogen dioxide oxygen and reacting with the water of the rain and forming the nitric acid and finally when this nitric acid which is in the form of the acid rain falls on the earth surface reacting with the limestone that we can see CaCO3 it form the soluble nitrate in this way the fixation of the atmospheric nitrogen takes place that is called atmospheric nitrogen fixation now we come to the next that is called the biological nitrogen fixation what is it it's a mention over here I'll explain also it is the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogen compounds by living organisms nitrogen fixeria and how it takes place it is taking place with the help of nitrogen fixing bacteria so the process is conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogen compound by living organisms and how it takes place nitrogen fixing bacteria what are those nitrogen fixing bacteria they are called rhizobium bacteria where are they found they are found in the soil how we should know about the leguminous plant leguminous plants such as the pea gram all that they have the root nodules and those root nodules are having the bacteria and those bacteria converts the atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogenous compound in this way since it is going to be done by uh, bacteria due to which it is also called as the biological nitrogen fixation so this was the these were the two parts of the nitrogen fixation now we come to the next thing what is it nitrogen assimilation what is nitrogen assimilation the process of conversion of inorganic nitrogen compound into organic compound that become a part of living organism is called nitrogen is called nitrogen assimilation so what is it it is that when the plant absorb the nitrate from the soil then they convert into the protein that is plant protein and that nitrogen which passes from plant that goes to herbivores that means they eat them and then later on when the herbivores are herbivores are eaten by the carnivores then the process takes place which is called as a nitrogen assimilation now we come to the next what is it that is ammonification what is the next step is ammonification the process of conversion of complex organic compounds like protein into ammonia is called ammonification what is it when plants and animals die when they die then their remains are going to be get converted into ammonia or ammonium compound and how is it done when the plants or animals die then bacteria attack on it and when the bacteria and fungus attack on it then they converted them into the ammonia or ammonium compound so this is called ammonification next is the step called nitrification what is nitrification the process of conversion of ammonia that means the ammonia which has been produced during the process of ammonification when it again get converts it into nitrate then it is called nitrification because some of the compounds are taken by the plants and rest are going to be get converted into nitrates so that is the process which is done by the bacteria which is called nitrifying bacteria so nitrifying bacteria do the process and that process is nitrification what is it the process of conversion of ammonia into nitrate and that is called the nitrification now we come to the next thing which is called as the denitrification now what exactly the denitrification is some of the nitrates are absorbed by the plant means the nitrates which are present in the soil that is going to be absorbed by the plants the rest are converted to free nitrogen gas and those free when they convert into free nitrogen gas they are converted by the denitrifying bacteria as nitrification takes place by the nitrifying bacteria similarly denitrification takes place by denitrifying bacteria 
and this process is called denitrification. In this way, the whole all five steps of the nitrogen cycle takes place. Thank you.